to it. All right, so here I got our brand new 80 wide Hooker Electric Pen International. Um, this is our auto stop version, and I'm going to be putting it together here, assembling it for you. Here we go. And that's how it looks with the motor cap on there now. So now we're going to take the spool. We're going to stick the spool right into the frame. Make sure your anti-reverse clicks in. Now you got your handle. Check your drag, make sure it's engaging. Good to go. Now you got all your screws in, check your handle. It's full spinning now. Disengage it. So, we just showed you the other 80Y that we were assembling over there. This is a completed one. So what we're gonna do for you today is uh, do a little spooling up video for you. Um, so, so far I attached our main line to the spool. And as you can see, there's actually a little line grabber right here, a little line holder. So a lot of people mistake what that is actually used for. So I'm gonna get a couple of lines on the reel here. And that line is actually gonna go over that little line holder. Like so. You want to aggressively spool it back and forth for the first few reps. Then I'm going to take the line level wind off. So you take the little paw off the back and then it slides right off. Then you can begin spooling. Get my gloves on. So what's nice about this spooling machine that we have, you can actually set the tension right here. So however tight you want to set the drag to spool it, you have this little mechanism right here. Begin spooling. Pull it too tight. I spool all the reels about 15 to 20 pounds of drag when I'm spooling them. I don't like going full speed. I just feel like it, it spools up the reel a little bit differently if you go full speed. So I got about half throttle. And about, there's an 80Y with 80 pound braid. So I'm probably gonna only spool about, I don't know, 7,000, 8,000 revs of the braid and then I'm going to put my level wind on. So about three quarters of the way of the spool you want to aggressively hand uh, feed it. A lot of people they get lazy and they want to, or cheap I should say, and they'll want to fill their spool halfway with mono and then top the rest off with the braid that they're going to be using. That's a big no-no. Um, basically your spool will heat up the mono and it will melt it. And basically, the braid is going to almost fuse itself to the mono, and it'll actually spread the spool out. So, a number one thing to do is not back with mono, first of all, on a hooker. And you never want to spool the entire reel with the level line the entire way. That's another big misconception with the hookers, because if you spool the entire way with the level line, it's got a natural beveled 
spool, so it's never going to spool up properly. It's going to stack up on its sides of itself. So that's why we're aggressively spooling it right now like this. It creates like a little platform on the spool for the line not to spread itself. Not too crazy, just a little more aggressive than usual. Should look like this. Little X's. It's easy to see with this color braid. So now we got our pen 80 spooled up about three quarters of the way. This braid itself is 80 pound spy spider wire, so it varies what kind of braid you're using. They're all different diameters and whatnot with different pound braid. Um, so now I'm going to take my level wine again, stick it right back onto the worm gear. You got your paw with the spring, little cap. You're going to stick that right back into where it goes. Now I'm going to put my spool and free spool, kind of just wiggle it back and forth so the paw finds its groove. All right. Stick your line back inside the level line. Put your drag up. Good to go. That does all the work for you.